After flying over 8,000 miles, five Indianola firefighters are back from rural Africa to tell us their story. Last May, this fire safety team took a trip to Zambia to help the Katedi people deal with fire in their daily lives. There was uh, trash fires, roadside fires, brush fires, uh, you name it, fire is a part of their life in some way or another. The Indianola crew stepped in, visiting schools and hospitals, handing out informational coloring books and teaching kids how to stop, drop and roll. We provided a coloring book that was in their native language of Nyanja. This is the first time in their life they've ever had anybody tell them how to avoid getting burnt by fire. Before the crew's visit, Katedi's fire brigade were fighting fires in nothing but t-shirts and shorts and using an ill-equipped fire truck. They didn't have anything, uh, a 1945 truck that started when it wants to and, and operates when it wants to and, and uh, so the dependability of their equipment is just not there. Here's a fire department that has five sections of hose, two nozzles and a truck that takes 15 minutes to start. With generous donations, the team was able to provide the fire brigade with new uniforms, hoses, and last but not least, a fire truck being shipped all the way from Alaska. It takes about $22,000 to ship a fire truck over to Alaska or over to Africa, but uh, uh, you tell me you want a fire truck, we're going to do it. And to be able to, to see their eyes and, and faces brighten up with just fire gear. Um, to take a truck over to them that'll be operational and functional and be able to do what they need to do. Firefighters say they can't wait for their next visit this October and look forward to teaching the brigade how to use their new fire truck. Uh, it'll be very rewarding to go back and see them still with their gear, see them training, and um, we've made friends for life, no doubt. In Indianola, Jesse Good, KCCI News Channel 8, Iowa's News Leader.